on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. After watching the Illini's first three games in street clothes, preseason All-American Kofi Coburn is set to return to the court this weekend. And Illinois football is reeling after losing the lead to Iowa yesterday without their head coach. Lots happening west of the Mississippi where WCIA 3 Sports Director Brett Behrens is in Kansas City with more. Basketball comes to Kansas City in the T-Mobile Center looking for a reset. And they get it in a big way with Kofi Coburn ready to make his season debut. Greetings from the self-titled barbecue capital of the world. And with that, maybe it's fitting the Alana are set to get their big guy back Monday night after serving a three-game NCAA suspension for selling his team-issued gear just a month before name, image, and likeness legislation was passed. The Alana could have certainly used Coburn in a loss at Marquette. At the preseason All-American and Big Ten Player of the Year brings a whole new dynamic to the orange and blue on the court on both sides of the ball. He's been working out and practicing with the team throughout his suspension, but now he gets to finally suit up on game day, something the junior says he can't wait to do Monday night. They did some really great things without me, and that, you know, that, that gave me a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. Um, on the flip side, I was angry because you know, I wasn't able to be out there with them. I mean, you know, three games is a long time when you, when you haven't missed a game in two years, you know, so... There's a lot of like mixed emotions, mixed feelings about it. There's no doubt he's going to be amped up and excited, and and uh, you know Kofi gives you a, a, a breath of confidence, an air about him. Uh, he's been dominant in practice. He's been terrific. I think he's excited to go out and show everybody that. Uh, uh, he's worthy of a lot of the uh, preseason hype. Illinois' first game here at the Hall of Fame Classic is against Cincinnati. The Bearcats 4-0 with a quality win over Georgia. The winner faces either Bruce Weber's Kansas State Wildcats, that's Brad Underwood's alma mater, or Arkansas on Tuesday in the championship game. We'll have your Illini Nation pregame shows both nights before the Illini games. Look for our coverage starting at 4 o'clock Monday on our WCIA 3 digital channels as Derek Piper from Illini Inquirer joins me to get ready for tip-off. We're into the last week of the Illinois football regular season after a 33-23 loss at Iowa Saturday. The Illini had a 10-point first quarter lead before the Hawkeyes put up 17 unanswered to take a lead they never gave back. The defense played well enough to win, only giving up one Iowa offensive touchdown, holding the Hawks to four field goals. But the offense struggled once again, especially on the ground, only rushing for 64 yards. Without head coach Brett Bielema, who was not in Iowa City with the team after a positive COVID-19 test, the Illini found a way to compete with wide receivers coach George McDonald leading the charge throughout the week. It was kind of hectic in a way, but um, especially when you find out your head coach is going to be there. Uh, it's just, it's just different, right? You know, he's the guy that kind of solidifies everything and holds everything together. Um, but, you know, what I was most happy about was, you know, the way that we were able to adapt and, you know, the way that, you know, our middle leadership in the locker room kind of took over there and, um, and the way that Coach McDonald kind of you know, took over his Coach B's role there, you know, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't the easiest situation.